welcome back to my channel. My name is Isa, and today we are going to be doing a makeup tutorial. I'm going to be showing you my go-to holiday makeup for Christmas parties, tree trimming parties, all of those festive little gatherings that we go to. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is pram my face. Um, I use a combination of some things. First thing I go into it is the professional. Uh, I absolutely love this stuff. I have some pretty big pores in this area and around my nose So this usually helps out to make sure that my skin is nice and smooth. So when we put a foundation on I just go in with my hands Now I'm gonna go in with my oh. <laughs> It's over here my optical illusion by Urban Decay This stuff is absolutely amazing doop, 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 doop. Primed. So the foundation I'm going to be using today is pretty much my go-to foundation for like all year round. It's the NARS Sheer Glow in Stramboli. Stramboli. I'm just going to pop some of that in the back of my hand. Oh, I am running so low on this stuff. And then I'm going to take my Real Techniques buffer brush. I think, I think we're good. All right, now for concealer time. And I think I'm gonna go in with my, <laughs> I think I'm gonna go in with my Naked Skin Concealer. It's pretty much my go-to. It's either this one or the NARS one. Look a little like war paint right now, but it's okay. And I'm gonna go in using my Real Technique Sponge to do my concealer. concealed and then I'm gonna go in with my setting powder which is my NYX HD finishing powder in translucent just works for me and my big old fluffy brush actually I think I'm gonna use my little powder puff let me just look super pale right now that's okay, because that's what bronzing's for. I'm just gonna kind of dust off. Perfect. Now I'm going to contour bronze. I don't really bronze bronze. I kind of just like contour and it kind of works as a bronze for me. What to do. <laughs> so I'm gonna take my trusty hula bronzer which is currently broken at the moment which makes me really really sad because it is by far my favorite bronzer i'm gonna use my little angle brush and i actually don't know who this brush is by but it's my favorite contour brush or bronzer brush so i'm just gonna put some brush and do the soaked in cheeks and i kind of start from right about here you know to kind of get that chiseled cheek look Do you like swirling motions because I don't really want a harsh line like I want definition but not like so <laughs> oh that was good and then I usually do my jawline get some definition and my little bitty forehead and I take a more angled brush to kind of contour my nose I do this weird thing where I kind of suck in my nose because I see the line of like my nose and that's how I do it. It's a little strange, but it's the only way I can do it like to my liking. take my little powder puff to kind of diffuse those lines so they're not as harsh. 
I think we're good with that. I'm gonna go on to blush and I use my all time favorite blush in the entire universe. And it is the part of the Sweet Peach Glow Palette. And it is just so beautiful and so peachy. And it just, oh, and it smells amazing. So I'm just like, yes. So I'm actually gonna use, I got this from my, my Ipsy or Ipsy bag. <laughs> And it's a Lisa Frank brush. I got so excited when I saw this because like I'm a 90s kid and like the whole of like elementary like everybody had like a Lisa Frank like Trapper Keeper and like pencil case and some of you are probably like what the hell is a Trapper Keeper but that's okay. <laughs> um, but I love this brush because it's nice and fluffy for me to do my blush. And I can just kind of like smile so like the apples on my cheeks. I just kind of do a little dusting. Can't really see it, but I just feel like blush just makes me feel like alive. Just gives you a nice little rosiness. You're just like, yes. So I think we're done with our, our base. I don't think I need to do anything else. I do highlighter last to kind of tie together so I can kind of figure out which highlighter I want to use. So we're going to move on to as. I don't do anything particularly exciting for my eyes for holiday parties. I kind of do something a little neutral, a little transition color and just not anything really spectacular or anything groundbreaking for my eyes. I usually do a little clap flick and then we move on to the lips, which is my favorite bit. <laughs> Not that they're anything exciting, like I said. I'm just gonna take my Modern Renaissance, which is like my favorite palette at the moment. I use it all the time, because it is amazing. I'm gonna use my Urban Decay Eye Primer Potion Pot thing in anti-aging, because you know, you want young eyes forever. I just kind of rub that in with my fingers. I'm just gonna take my little fluffy uh, blender brush and I'm gonna go in with raw sienna because that's the transition shade I happen to like. So my camera turned off. <laughs> so I'm on to the second eye when I noticed and I was just like, wait a minute, it's not, it's not recording. So I'm on to the second eye. That's what I've got going on. As you can see, this eye is just not cooperating with the group, but that's okay. We're gonna make it work. <laughs> um, usually after this little transition shade, I do put like some other shadow in my little uh, lid. <laughs> The, the lid. Usually molasses, this chip from my Too Faced chocolate bonbon palette. That's usually my like go-to neutral chill kind of little shimmery shade. Nothing exciting about it. It looks a little crazy now, but at the end, I promise it'll just like tie together and just look beautiful. Up this other eye that is just looking a little harsh. I'm just gonna take another blending brush and kind of blend it out. Pretty much that's the skill. Just blend, 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 and it'll all work out on the end. It'll look good, it'll look amazing. See, now, now it's diffused, it looks a little better. We're getting there. And I take a smaller, more precise brush, just a very little, just a little one. It's got a lot of product on it. I should probably clean my brushes. And I go back in with, actually I go in a little bit darker shade and I go into Burnt Orange in my Modern Renaissance one. And I just kind of drag that along the lower lash. Right. 
Now we've got that. I'll go in with eyeliner. This is pretty much my go-to um, eyeliner. I'm very, 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 very picky with liners. I've used Drugstore, I've used Tyen, and this is the only one. Makes putting on a little cat flick just so easy because I don't like liquid, like the little pots and trying to dry it on. I don't really have a steady hand. My hands are like shaking like crazy, like nine out of 10 times. So it's really, really hard. So this one has got like a very, very thin line and it just does wonderful things. So let's pray to the cat eye gods. Everything goes beautifully. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna be concentrating very hard into my mirror being like, all right, do this. And even as we're gonna get. <laughs> Time for mascara. I'm actually gonna dust off any eyeshadow that may have fallen. Next is mascara, and I'm gonna go in with my trusty Voluminous Million Lashes and the Better Than Sex. I use two mascaras because it just gives me just uh, the most amazing effect for my lashes. Just so big and so beautiful that I'm just I'm obsessed. So I go in with the Voluminous first and kind of separate them because it does really good separating. And then I'm gonna go in right after with Better Than Sex because I want them not to be all the way dry when I do this because it just makes all the difference. Now, look at that. There is literally an instant difference of like huge. Like they look fake, like literally. Like, can you say this? This just looks fabulous. <laughs> Boom, big old lashes. So now it's on to my favorite bit is red lips because you can't go to a holiday party and not wear red lips. I'm kind of torn between the two that I'm gonna, or the one that I wanna use. It's either the Kat Von D Hellbent uh, lipstick uh, or the Meat Mad Hodgins. Mm, I think, I think I wanna give the Kat Von D a try. This is actually my first Kat Von D lipstick. I've never used her before and I'm not really big on traditional lipsticks, but I've heard nothing but wonderful things from her makeup line, so I mean, yeah, it's probably gonna be amazing. So I put my lipstick up really, really weird. My husband says I do, my friends say I do. <laughs> it's just weird. I start at the bottom, go to the Cupid's bow, and then fill everything in at the end. It's really weird. I think we are almost done. Now time for highlighter because I literally almost forgot. I haven't used this in a while. It is the Might Be by ColourPop. I used to use this all the time and it's actually really, really good. I love it. So let's go with that. Trusty Tarte Fan Brush. Glow to the gods. <laughs> all right, and that is our finished look. For you guys this is my very first attempt at a makeup tutorial i am not a professional i am not a makeup artist i just absolutely love makeup but i've been doing makeup on myself for a very very long time i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please give it a big thumbs up subscribe i'll be here absolutely every single saturday and sometimes on wednesdays i took a crack um at vlogmas it's not my best feat um, I had friends come up from Florida, so it was very difficult for me to like film, edit, because I really did want to spend time with them because I missed them. But hopefully I'll have some more videos for this Vlogmas coming up. But as always, I love you guys very, very much. And until next time, bye!